I definitely know that my lungs are strong. I went to the wrong place. A little bit like a claustrophobic situation. Something really exciting happened yesterday. windshield wipers in the background this morning it is a super yucky turn left okay it is a super yucky rainy day and it's going to be rainy and gross like this all week here i am on my way to the pulmonologist right now today is my pulmonary function test which i have no idea what this is going to entail i'm guessing i just like breathe into some thing that measures how well i'm breathing and like my lung capacity I don't really know so yeah I have my pulmonary function test and then I'm meeting with the pulmonologist and basically the point of this appointment is to see if I'm able to wean off of my daily maintenance inhaler so I'm hoping that I can um, obviously when I was sick and had bronchitis and all that um, it kind of brought me back a couple notches so I'm hoping um, I'm where I need to be to kind of start weaning off but I do think that running has helped um, recover quicker um, I definitely know that my lungs are strong so yeah I'm gonna go to my appointment and I will catch you guys up afterwards and let you know how it went place. I'm supposed to go to some other building to have my pulmonary function test before I come to the pulmonary office. Okay, my friends. Finished at the pulmonologist's office. It was such a wild goose chase and I was there way longer than I wanted to be, but it's fine. Um, everything went well. Um, they sent me over for my pulmonary function test, which was super weird. I've never had one of those before. They sent you in this little box um, and you just like sit in there and they close it up. It's like this little glass box, kind of like a penalty box, like in hockey. But, um, and then they put this, you have to put this thing in your mouth that you breathe in. It's like breathing through a straw. It's a little bit like of a claustrophobic situation, but, um, but everything went well. There was one number that was like a little bit elevated that the test showed was like my ability to uh, convert oxygen to carbon dioxide or something. Sorry, I'm going through a tunnel. <laughs> it's really dark. Anyways, so that was a little bit elevated and that can indicate asthma. So they're keeping me on my inhaler for now. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in like four to six months from now. But they apparently didn't even do the last part of the pulmonary function test because the first two parts that I did, um, I did really, really well. Crushed it. So they didn't even have to do the last part, which was nice. I apparently was supposed to get to my pulmonary function and test at nine o'clock and I got there at 9.40 which is when I was supposed to be seeing my pulmonologist. So it just got a little bit confusing, but they were super nice about it and totally understood my confusion. Uh, but anyways, I'm headed home now and I'm gonna eat some lunch. I will catch you guys later. Seriously, why am I always eating in my vlogs? Made it home, starving. <laughs> So I made some avocado toast. I could put some like nuts and seeds on here. 
for real. I couldn't even wait until after this clip to keep eating my toast. A little salt and pepper, but Capri is watching a movie and um, <clears throat> she's gonna go down for a nap in just a few minutes. And then I am looking forward to just hanging out, maybe reading my book while she's sleeping. Oh my gosh, I seriously have a problem. I really need to do laundry, but I probably won't. Just worn out, so I'm just gonna hang out and rest. And then um, when Nick gets home, I'll probably go for a run later. So that's our plan. And then I'll get Cove from school later. And I have no idea what we're doing tonight, but I'll bring you along. Also have a pot roast in the crock pot for tonight. Looks so good. Woo! That steam action looks so good. I will not be partaking in the meat, but I'm going to scoop around the meat for the veggies, which technically I'm not really supposed to eat since it's soaking in meat juices and broth, but it's just how we're doing it this time. So I'm going to eat that and make some, I don't know, some sort of like rice or something to go with it for me um, with the veggies, but looks so good and it smells even better. Decided to make a cup of coffee while I read my book and please a look at the froth on this oat milk. Mm, so good. Coming to you live from Carline. What are you doing, sis? Um, Raisins? I am. Uh, nice. So, yeah, we're waiting for Cove in the car line. I did not go for a run, even though Nick got home in plenty of time for me to go for a run, and I just honestly got way too cozy drinking my coffee and reading my book that I just, just wasn't feeling it. I think I got up too early this morning. Um, I, I don't know, maybe I'm in a little bit of a funk and having a hard time getting back into my normal running schedule since being sick. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, my goal now is to try to get up tomorrow morning and go run because I think um, the rain's gonna actually take a break in the morning. Um, so yeah, that's my new goal. We'll see if it actually happens. I'm going to try my best, but I think tonight we're, um, after I get code, we're going to go take the kids, do something fun. I'm not sure what we'll do yet. Maybe take them to the, I don't want to say it out loud. J-U-M-P-P-A-R-K. Maybe. We'll see. So, um... And then I've got that pot roast in the crock pot for dinner. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the plan for tonight. Oh, also I have to let Cove show you something when he gets in the car, if he is not in a horrible mood, which sometimes he is after school. So yeah, something really exciting happened yesterday for Cove. So I will let him share the news. Show me your tooth. Did you lose your tooth yesterday? What are you using? <laughs> I brought you a snack. You want a snack? Not until I'm back. Okay, okay crazy. Hey, 
Is this what you've been holding in all day at school? All your crazies? Gotta let out your crazies after school? Capri, Capri, you've been crazy all day. You got your crazies out. I think you're good. Mom, you got the basket. Woo, that was cool. <laughs>